the perfect city. He has prepared for them a city, Hebrews 11, 16. No pollution, no graffiti, no trash, no peeling paint or rotting garages, no dead grass or broken bottles, no harsh street talk, no in-your-face confrontations, no domestic strife or violence, no dangers in the night, no arson or lying or stealing or killing, no vandalism and no ugliness. The city of God will be perfect because God will be in it. He will walk in it and talk in it and manifest himself in every part of it. All that is good, beautiful and holy and peaceful and true and happy will be there because God will be there. Perfect justice will be there and recompense a thousandfold for every pain suffered in obedience to Christ in this world. And it will never deteriorate. In fact, it will shine brighter and brighter as eternity stretches out into unending ages of increasing joy. When you desire this city above everything else on earth, then you honor God, who according to Hebrews 11.10, is the designer and builder of the city. And when God is honored, he is pleased and not ashamed to be called your God.